friend. You guys come all the way up here? Every day. We're up in the mountains of Nine Mile. And today, we are with a couple of Rastas in the garden. It's all about the roots of veganism here in Jamaica. So you really have to know to dig the yam. How did you learn how to dig the yam? My mama, you know? Everything what I know about the farm is my mom teaching. So that's how it's done, you know? Mm -hmm. Fresh. Yeah. When you think Jamaican food, you might think of jerk chicken, beef patties, and curry goat. But the Rastafarian Itao diet is veganism on steroids. It's only what's locally grown. No supermarket chains, no industrial farming, and is strictly organic. You know, yeah, it all, we do no meat, nothing with face, just straight vegetable. Everything you could see come off the farm. The Itao movement became popular in Jamaica in the 70s. Sister Yvonne Hope, a Rastafarian elder, is one of the early pioneers and has seen the vegan movement grow not only in Jamaica, but around the world. I have been a vegan Italist from 1973. People was getting conscious in that period. Rastafari was new and it was a movement of young people want change in the world. We try to be self-reliant and grow what we eat. When did you start to see more vegan shops and restaurants start to pop up here in Jamaica? In the 90s, you see a whole burst of health food store, a vegetarian restaurant, and you say, oh, I'm so happy because at one time you had to go miles to get a ital food. Rastas believe eating ital is vital to their health and connects them to nature, which makes eating an important part of their divine practice. Ibi Lion and his partner Katis have brought ital food to Kingston's working class. It's a five bills food. All right, brother, bless it, yeah? Respect. Yeah, man. We started Veggie Meals on Wheels in 2010. We were all vegans. Veggie Meals on Wheels is really about a holistic liberty. It's not just eating for your belly, but for your soul and your mind and your spirit. Big special for the day, Aki. Aki. Our national dish. Traditionally, Jamaicans add salt fish to the aki. But Katis and Ibi have come up with an alternative. We basically use the banana to make our strips and we put it back with ackee and make ackee and banana strips to avoid the fish. Then I season it with the turmeric or curry or berberry. This is coconut oil, you know? People say, no, we must get plant-based, get back to basics, get back to the earth. Mm. It's really, really good. It has the same consistency as like a fish. It's kind of flaky, it's salty. That's good. In the 70s, I remember, I would never forget. I went up to the hills. I see a whole heap of hippie, a lot of white Americans. And I'm saying, what is these people doing up in the bush? But they come to learn how to cook ital. And those same people went back to the US and started a whole movement. The movement has come a long way in Jamaica as well with upscale ital restaurants like Stush in the Bush attracting people from around the world. The whole idea is to immerse yourself in nature yeah. and still have comfort, elegance, style, and really amazing food at the same time. Jamaica is a power center. The amount of influences that Jamaica has had on the world, from the music to the language. You know, you can't say veganism without saying Ital. Mm -hmm. And you can't say Ital without saying Jamaica, without saying Rastafari. Fresh from the farm. Bon appetit. So we're going to start with a watermelon crudo. The feta is made from almonds. You have some plantain chips that are crispy fried. I love um, a really good gazpacho. So it has cucumber, mint, lime, and a jackfruit seed hummus. So we just had about our third course. Obviously no meat, everything is fresh, organic. And, and honestly, I'm full, I feel fulfilled. I don't miss meat at all. This is great. Total Ital living right now. So it is a thin crust pizza. We make it ourselves. It has fresh rosemary in the dough. And you also have some coconut bacon. Mm -hmm. 
so good. People have come to Jamaica and taken the healthy food trend back. Is that a good thing that it's spreading yes, around the world? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's not like they came and take us in captivity. They take something positive this time. If it wasn't for I and I conviction, you wouldn't have this movement. You probably wouldn't have a old food, you wouldn't have a any of those places. But because we stick to what we believe in, that is how the movement spread.